We're here at Coyote Elementary School's brand new program and everything that you see right here, one of a kind, designed for kids with disabilities. Jeez. This is what acceptance sounds like. These kids sometimes are so forgotten and here at Coyote they're not. A group of teachers designed and helped fund this special needs playground, the first of its kind for the Miranda School District. For most kids, I mean, we take for granted every day um, that, that we can go on a swing or that we can walk or go on a slide. Uh, for a child like Gianna, it's, it, it's, it's not that easy to be able to do something like this uh, and to make it a reality it is just awesome. The play place has a lot to offer. A wheelchair swing. Gianna loves it. Pathways for bikes. Wave your hands. And a sensory pool. The playground finally done after four years. All right. oh, yeah. A true labor of love. I love this boy. Um, I go home and think about him and it's important that he feels welcomed here at Coyote and this playground truly does do that. You can see him smiling. There are slight smiles, but they're there, right? You're my boy? Yeah. A handful of teachers use their own money to help build this playground. The Rotary Club of Marana, they stepped in and donated, get this, $12,000. A ribbon cutting happens a little bit later today at 5 o'clock. That is the latest from Marana. Morgan Kirkland, back to you. This new weapon is property of the University of Arizona Police Department right here on 1st and Campbell. And it did cost a lot of your taxpayer dollars, but police say the nearly $10,000 investment is worth every penny. Likely the most eager and cutest police officer you've ever seen. Trigger is a uh, certified narcotics canine. Trigger, the two-year-old chocolate lab, ready for his first day of work as an officer with the University of Arizona Police Department. The odor of methamphetamines. Trigger's handler is part of an undercover narcotics task force and doesn't want to show his face on camera. The canine was hired to fight Tucson's never-ending war on drugs. Tucson, unfortunately, is a drug destination. And his first destination could be your neighborhood. He's actually assigned to basically Tucson. Um, we can go anywhere from South Tucson to North Tucson, West to East. Port a drug issue anywhere in Southern Arizona and Trigger might be called in to sniff it out. If he alerts, that's probable cause. The owner says this nose will save local police time and also resources. It takes us off the street. It takes other people to the location so they can secure the scene. But that takes officers away from other parts of town that might need them more. Trigger. He was sworn in earlier today at 3 o'clock this afternoon right here at the University of Arizona Police Department. That is the latest near campus. Morgan Kirkland, back to you. I'm here just outside TMC for Children where I met a woman looking to make a big difference one stitch at a time. Three-year-old Walter and his mom, Amanda Huta, walk these hospital halls once a week. Give this little baby a girl a shirt. <laughs> Thank you, Walter. Do you yeah, want to give this to this mama for her baby? Thank you so much. Huta makes tiny shirts. This is the smallest one I have. For babies born premature. I feel like it's a special moment um, just to be able to put your clothes on your baby. I don't know why. Walter was born at 25 weeks. Full term is 40 weeks. No baby clothes fit him, so Huta's mom made Walter one of these. You put the baby flat on it, and it just folds over with Velcro. So if there's an emergency, they just rip it off. Every time I talk to somebody, I kind of got the same impression from them that they're like, well, I wanted to put them in something, we can't find any clothes, I have to wait another month before they fit. And so I got an idea that maybe I could learn how to sew, because I'd never sewed in my life. <laughs> and started making these little baby clothes. Now that Walter is a happy, healthy little boy, Huta is making the shirts for others for free. Giving her something to look forward to, to put her little babies in clothes, that's what's important. <laughs> All she's looking at is her baby through an incubator. I mean, she can't do anything else. Huta started making these shirts about a month ago. So far, she's handed out about 45 of them. If you'd like to help put them together, head to our website, TucsonNewsNow.com. Reporting from just outside TMC, Morgan Kirkland, back to you.